update 1.52 for Grand Turismo 7 is here and while a lot of people have talked about all of the details that are brand new as always with these Grand Turismo updates we get a bunch of new engine swaps we can do as long as we are creator level 50 and above now there's a lot to do but there's one very interesting thing that nobody's talking about and I'm going to show you right now. So if you don't know already, to do an engine swap in Gran Turismo 7, you have to be creator level 50, choose the car that you want to do the engine swap, head down to GT Auto, head to Car Maintenance and Service, and then right down at the bottom, you will have the option for engine swap. Now, here is the interesting thing. For the first time ever in Gran Turismo 7, we can choose more than one engine choose between more than one engine to put in the car. So I could put the VR38 DET engine in the car, which was a previous uh, engine that could go in the car, or I could put the VK45DE GTR engine in the car. This is from the, the G, uh, GT2 car. Uh, so it's a super fuel efficient engine. So I have a choice to make here, and this choice is very important. And the game doesn't really tell you much it basically gives you a warning to say that engine swaps are prohibited by certain regulations that's fine that's always been the case so this group 4 car for example once i've done an engine swap i will not be able to use a group 4 car in group 4 bop races that's fine that's understood this action will strip my engine of its original parts yes that's fine that existed already and then it also says once the engine has been swapped it cannot be reverted to its original state that was fine that always used to happen that's no problem at all so it's very clear that you cannot put the original engine back in your car once you've done an engine swap so let's install this v8 engine right now and again similar warning message saying uh, that once you've fitted the engine the old engine parts will be lost uh, the new engine parts will need to be bought for the new engine that's all good let's let's do it 600,000 credits. It's not a problem. I've got plenty of money making videos on my channel and I'm going to throw the new engine in the car. He's happy with it. Okay, work complete. That's all good. The problem and the issue the, the game doesn't present to you or volunteer the information to you is that you can also no longer put the other engine in your car either. Once you make a commitment to the engine swap, whether it be the engine one or engine two or in the future engine three or four, you cannot then fit another different engine. So the game says that you cannot reinstall the original engine, but it doesn't make it clear that you can't install a different engine swap engine. So be very careful about the engine swaps you do because you can only choose the engine once per engine swap. I think Gran Turismo 7 could have been a bit more clear with this message, making it very clear that you are choosing one engine to permanently go in your car instead of just saying about you can't fit the original engine. I think that needs to be changed in a future update. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. If you want to know which other engines go in which other cars, then click on the playlist on screen right now. That's gonna go through all of the original engine swaps in Gran Turismo 7. And also guys, if you want anything from GT Omega, then make sure you check out the links in the description below for 5% off anything at GT Omega. Use my exclusive discount code and you'll get yourself a discount.